y'all doing today? Oh, thank you so much for supporting my videos yesterday. Let's say prayers, and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to be eating. My hands cooked today. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, blessed, and awesome day. Thank you for loving me and keeping me. Thank you for the people you put in my life. I, I pray that I do your work, your will, your way. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all, um, I did a meatloaf with a mushroom gravy. I have some uh, beans for fiber. And I have some cabbage from my mother's garden. And I, and I, and I put a sausage in the cabbage. Look at that. Mm-hmm. A good Monday night meal. So, you know, we have our cocktail because it's going to be combo. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to toast to the whole week that it may, it may be blessing coming in for each and every one of you guys. Okay? So, salut. Salut. Sip, 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 sip. The good stuff. That's good. I'm am cutting off my head, y'all. That a little bit better. All right, let's dive in. Do I want some hot sauce? I don't know yet. Okay, y'all. I have these rolls. These rolls. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. I get into my mood and I have this bread. Mmm. 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 These beans, oh, hot. Mm. Mm. These uh, sausages came from the meat market. They say it's smoked sausages. It's my first time getting them, so let's see what they taste like. That, ooh, that, ooh, they would be good in my next bowl. Mm-hmm. That tastes really good. That really is good cabbage. I tell you, I don't want to always brag, but Mother's Garden have good vegetables, man. And it grows, and it just grows so good. This cabbage is so good from her garden. Here, take a bite. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. 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 Man, I'm excited. This food is good. Mmm. 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 Take a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Mm. I just had an idea. I bet you one of those um, jellies from uh, my spicy hot white pepper uh, jelly and jam. Oh, I bet it be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all. Let's dig in to this meat. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Y'all, when I uh, uh, did the uh, mushroom soup, I put one package of uh, Lipton soup mix in it. After the meat cooked like maybe 20 minutes, I drained uh, some of the fat off the pot, out, out of the pot, and then I let it simmer in that mushroom soup mixture. Man, 
This was so good. I don't even want no hot sauce. Oh my God, that meat is good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Sometimes when you're so hungry and you eat, you get full so fast. That food is good. Mm, mm, mm. These sausages are really good, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to... Uh, Put that uh, in my bar this weekend. If y'all hear some noise, somebody's child is crying. Oh, it's, they disappointed about something. Y'all, this is just so good. You know, While I was working today, I was thinking about a few things, you know, because I don't want to do the sad parts of my life anymore, you know. But something came in my mind today that I think it would be relevant to all of us. With you know, it's about forgiveness. You, you, y'all. Luckily, y'all, my my hair is really coming out. Um. Love and forgiveness, you know, I I said a thousand times, it's just it it it's, it's just goes together. I was just thinking the time when I was so broken, and my life was unraveling right before my eyes. You know, um, I got uh, a promotion at the job. I got three raises after that. I was ha I had a troubled marriage, you know. And then everything started crumbling. I lost my job in 2009 at the best place that I worked at Tumbao Regional Hospital. Um, they had the first layoff that I knew about. The best job that I had. Then my marriage failed. I gave my life to Christ in my living room. With a message that I heard one day. And I wanted to be a better person. And I kept praying and praying. Studying and studying the word. Then the Holy Spirit told me, go and forgive your mother. Because you know, if y'all heard my story from the first video until, the, until a month ago, maybe. Two weeks ago, maybe. But first, in the beginning, in the first beginning of my stories, y'all will understand why I had to go and forgive her because I was so angry and bitter about her and my lifestyle that she dealt for me. You 
in our sound. You know, sometimes we have our own thoughts in our head and we try to process it. And God has a different thing that you is supposed to do. But the Spirit told me to to go and forgive my mother. So at that moment, I was like one hour outside of uh, Houston. So I called her up and I asked her if I can come over. And she said, yes. So I get over to her house. That was a, a neighbor or somebody sitting uh, on the opposite sofa. And I didn't know how to say it. I knew I had to say it. But, you know, you have company and you don't want everybody you know, in your family's business. But it was, it was, it was so strong in my heart. And so I, I just uh, uh, stood in front of my mom and I said, Mother, I forgive you for what you did to me in my childhood. And then now I'm going to forgive myself for hating you. So her words was, all right, Juanita Hood. Okay. But in my own selfishness, not that I just wanted to Forgive her like the Spirit told me, because I did what the Spirit told me, but I wanted to tell her, with your hands, how many people beat me up and how many people raped me because you didn't like me. But it, I could not get that out, y'all. That's when you know that it's the Spirit. But when I did that, I felt, I really did feel so lifted, so good. I felt I had a whole different feeling. So after that, I just told God to, for everybody that I hurt in my path, bring it back to me so I can repent, number one, and that I can seek their forgiveness as well. That's just something that I thought about, that I wanted to share. So, that is about healing and forgiving those who hurt you. We all have been hurt by something, someone. I'm trying to stop some of that uh, gravy. Um, some of us, we hold on to all that old stuff and it, it does, it, it just messes up your life. Man, you know what? There's some doggone good rolls. I'm going to put this meat in here. <laughs> That's good. Well, that's good. And we hold on to the pain, to the agony, and the defeat. It does make us bitter. It takes our joy and happiness away. And, you know, and before you know it, our lives are gone.
Mm -mm. My gosh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. It's like a meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> So, y'all, if nothing else, forgive those who hurt you and get the peace that you need. Mm -hmm. Y'all, inside of that meat, you know, it's onions and celery and bell pepper and garlic and Worcestershire and Greek seasoning. A lot of goodness. And this is good, good. Here, take a bite. Mm. Oh, that's good, good. So how's y'all day? You know, I was off yesterday, and when you come back to work on a Tuesday, your days are so. When I was listening to the news, they said Wednesday's weather would be, and I'm thinking like, well, it ain't even Wednesday. Oh, I'm talking about tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm getting full, y'all. But this cabbage is so good. Ooh. I woke up this morning. After everything I did, I had one more new subscriber. I'm getting closer to 100. Really close. So I eat this bread. <laughs> I'm, I'm full. <sighs> mm, I don't know. I'm going to eat this cabbage though. Mm. Y'all, uh, don't forget, I got... Six more jars coming from my spicy hot white pepper jelly and jam. Um, I'm excited to see what those flavors are. Mm -hmm. So, breakfast food, come on. I want to learn how to do an omelet. I might try it with the next batch of jelly one time uh, to do an omelet. I think I could do it. I've never done it, but I think I can. Whew. But y'all, one thing for sure, I will eat my veggies. I love vegetables, period. Oh, I listened to Steph and Tosh this morning. And they had a viewer topic. And it was about a 14-year-old girl who came out to her mother as, you know, as gay. And she didn't want her father to know because she knew her father was not going to approve it. And... I've listened to their, what they told the mother and the daughter and um, one thing I'm going to say, they had some good messages, but, and I also posted, excuse me, on their page that when you are married, yeah, there go my specialty, it always come up, don't it? I tell you, my God knows. 
when you are married and you do your vows and you was married, your vows says when 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 you get together, when you come together, you are no more this. You are now this. So and some one of them said that uh you know stand up to your husband and I'm thinking like yeah no because society has taught us to do that foolish stuff but the bible is the bible man is the king of his calf castle. He's the ruler of his house. Even though he probably won't approve for her choice of a lifestyle, as a wife, I want to know that I'm strong enough with the message to tell him, you know, without denying her denying her or punishing her you know or maybe making her move out i want to know that i can have some words to help him accept the choice even if the parents don't like the choice then pray without ceasing things change when you pray but some of the messages that i heard was just not well with me in, in a marriage. You don't separate yourself from your husband. Mm -mm. Of all the times my husband pissed me off, I did not separate our bed. I did not separate our home. Yeah, that's why you can't listen to everybody telling you what to do and how to do it. I said a thousand times, be careful who you listen to, be careful who you follow, and be careful who you allow in your private space. And I'll say it again, some people have to be entertained on the outside of your door. Mm -hmm. And that goes a long way. How do y'all feel about it? Uh, comment below if y'all feel that the vows are the vows. You have to live by your vows. The name Joe vows is, is God's law, actually. Should a husband and wife separate themselves for their children's decisions that they make and they feel like one spouse may not be acceptable to the decision. Will you separate your household and, and live in secrecy with your child and, and not include your husband? Mm -hmm. Comment below. With that said, thank you for joining me for dinner, y'all. Thank y'all for coming sit with me. Thank you for sipping whatever you're drinking. Your Kool-Aid, your water, your cocktail, whatever it was eating with me, your dinner, your snacks. Come again another day. Thank you so much, subscribers. All my new subscribers that came in tonight, well, I, I tell you what, uh, before you leave, if you will, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right on the side, ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Thank y'all. Have a great night, and I love you, and there is nothing you can do about it. Good night.